I am going to show you how to solve crystal structure using OLX2 program. So go to the folder where you have your INS file and HKL file. These two files are required. Then go to INS file and open in OLX2. Then come to the work, then go to solve, click here, you will see the HKL file, then click solve. You will see some brown colors, spherical balls. Now these are electron densities. Program suggest, is suggesting that you have some electron densities here, that means some atom could be there. Now, if you click here, it will connect. Then I know uh, my molecules, so I know these are carbon atoms. And before that, you can see here, press F3. Once you press F3, you will see Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, etc. Now, if you put your cursor there, no need to click, you will see Q1, 494.9. Q2, 416, like that Q6, 358. That means Q1 is having highest number, and as you increase the number Q1 to Q2, Q3 to Q4, etc., this value will decrease. So that means Q1 is having more number of electron density than Q6. Q6 is having more electron density than Q8, and so on. So if we have a heavier atom, then probably that is Q1. So I know I have only carbon and oxygen. So the strong possibility is that Q1 is oxygen. So I'll put this click here and then go to oxygen. And these, these I know all these are carbon atoms because I know my molecule. So I have clicked them and then clicking here. So I've taken carbon atom. I can see this is one part, this is one part. You can bring them together. If they are part of a molecule, go to view, then go to symmetry generation, then go to symmetry tools and assemble. Now they have been corrected. Then again, go back to work. Now you see, it's the half molecule of anthraquinones. That means half molecule of anthraquinone is present in the asymmetric unit. Now go to refine. Then you can use the program whichever you want. You can use select cell or this one. And okay, I'm using select cell and then click refine. Once you click refine, you can see shift red color. That means it is shifting. Some of the atoms are moving here and there. Refinement means it is adjusting the position of the atoms so that gives you the best structure. When it is adjusting, there will be some values here. Once the refinement is complete, you will get zero values here. So till you are getting zero values, you have to go on refining. Now value has been reduced, that means shifting has been less. It became green color, shifting became almost zero. Let me try once again. Now it becomes zero. So that means it is not moving anymore. And here you can see number of peaks. Oh, if you give number of uh, more number, the so 10, and then refine, you will see 10 um, uh, those brown color balls. And if I give just one, then you will see here only one brown color ball. So this is here you can see. So it is suggesting that you have some electron densities here. And if you put your cursor here, you can see the value is less than one, 0 0.97. That means there is no atom there. So we can ignore that. Uh, now, here you can see, if you right click, and then there are several options to see, pair pet key, ball and stick, 
At present, I will keep ellipse fire, ellipse and stick. We can see they are looking like a sphere, but atoms vibrate within a crystal. So that means it should not be spherical. In one direction, it will be more uh, vibrating more, another direction, it will be vibrating less. So it should be ellipsoidal. So to see that, you have to click here. This is called anisotropic refinement. Anisotropic refinement. If you click here, you will get spherical. That is called isotropic refinement. But we need anisotropic refinement. Once you click here, we'll see the atoms are no more spherical. This direction it is elongated. That means this atom is vibrating more along this direction and vibrating less as along this direction. So after that, you click. Add hydrogen immediately, hydrogen will be added. However, it's supposed to be added. Okay. Now, if you want to see the complete molecule, go to view, go to symmetry of persons, grow all. You can see complete molecule. This is my molecule. And then if you go to fuse, then it will give you the asymmetric unit. So once everything is there, and again shifting is there, so after adding hydrogen, so I'd like to refine now, again it has become zero. Then you have to name it properly, C2, C4, C3, C6. Uh, but you have to name them properly. Now to go do that, you come to naming, then you want to name carbon atoms, carbon atom name, then click here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you want to put oxygen atom, which is already named, but if you want to do, then do one. Okay, now again you refine. So whenever you make some changes, you have to refine, then only will be recorded. So refinement is over. Now you can see here R1 is 4.77, very good. WR2, 14.8, very good. Here A, B, C, alpha, beta, gamma, all the values are there. There are cell parameters, J equal to two. That means in one molecule, there are two. In one unit cell, there are two molecules. J prime is equal to 0 0.5, that means there is only half molecule in the asymmetric unit, this is the volume of the unit cell. And goodness of fit should be close to one for a good uh, solution and refinement. Once everything is done, if you want, you can see, if you click here, it will give you the detail of the atom. The name of the atom is O1. This is oxygen atom. Then the coordinate of the oxygen atom is X, Y, Z. Then this is the occupancy, they have been 10 plus one. So once it is 11, that means its occupancy is 100%. If it is 10.5, that means occupancy of that this particular atom is 50%. If we occupancy is 10.3, that means occupancy is 30%. Here it is 10 plus one, that is 11. That means occupancy is 100%, no disorder. And these six parameters, one, two, three, four, five, six, this six parameter indicates the size and shape and orientation of this thermal ellipsoid. Okay. Now we have to generate the SIP file. To do that, go here. Go to refine here, write acta. Then you write after 50. Then refine once again after writing after 50. Everything fine. Then go to report. It suggests the wavelength and some of the other parameters you take. Then if you want, you can click here, data collection, whatever you want to write, you write. You can write name of the molecule. Here you can write the color. You can write the size of the crystal. For example, size of the crystal is 0 0.3, 0 
टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट कलर यू कैन राइट क्लियर वाइट we have some detail here you want to write then you can write once everything is written click report once you write click report that all will come here this is the crystal size we have written this is the zip file all details are given space group a b c alpha beta gamma red value given now here you have to see if you want to give some instruction uh, before generating zip file you are supposed to see here this is the a b c alpha beta gamma is given this is the wavelength this is the z value sometimes z value will be wrong that time you have to correct it and this is the error error for a error for b error for c error for alpha error for beta error for gamma now these are the atoms present in the molecule and this many number of carbon atoms here it is in carbon so 28 carbon atoms are present in one unit cell 16 hydrogen atoms are present in one unit cell four oxygen atoms are present in one unit cell sometimes this and this uh, values will be wrong that you have to correct and after correcting you refine and then uh, generate the sheet file okay so now you can go here go to the folder and then you can see your sheet file on mercury if you have already downloaded mercury then it will open on mercury and you can see your compound the atom levels will access here you can see the space group and so on then you can close it